So pH range from 5.5 to 6.5. You already kind of answered my next question. I was going to talk about pH going up. You know, one thing I found is that I'm pHing to about 5.8. And over the matter of a couple of days, it's raising. It's raising up to sometimes 6.2, 6.3 pH. And then the water level is dropped off to where I can either top it off or I'm changing out the res or whatever to try to correct it to bring it back down. But you know, you gave me some confidence there where you're saying that range is perfectly fine. And I have been seeing great growth during that range. I bet. So having that drift up has kind of been, I would say, harmless for the plant. Uh, no, it doesn't look like any growth has been impacted whatsoever. So really happy to hear that. Would there be any other reasons for the pH to kind of drift either up or down? Mm. I've heard clay pebbles and people say re residual dust off of that can impact the pH if that falls into the solution. What are some reasons the pH would go up or down? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, there's a there's a few things, and and what I would say is a general rule of thumb: pH rising, healthy environment, healthy growth. pH slipping down. Uh, there's a few different things. It could be bacterial influences, right? Um, and that generally then we look upstream from that. So there's a lot of like, hey, how do I fix this? And and this is a very Western medicine element. You take this pill. Right. And so we're, we're always questioning is what is it that's causing that condition? Right. And so specifically when it comes to pH, if the pH is dropping, generally there's something influencing that it's ions building up in the solution. Um, maybe it's a buildup, like I said, of bacteria or other things that could deaden decaying root matter. Um, so it's a red flag. The first thing that we generally would do is recommend that someone increase or dilute their solution, decrease their EC and P PPM, right? Um, and what that does is quite often there is a stifling effect that happens in, with, the, with regards to the uptake of solution when the PA or when the EC is beyond target. And so you'll have a buildup of those ions in solution. You'll have a slowdown of uptake of solution in general that then slows down transpiration, essentially starting to stifle the metabolism of a plant so those things start compounding and in this instance and it's a it's a it's a great example of simplicity the solution to that problem is to add water right and so that that's you know one of the old things that i learned back in the hydro store because everybody come in for a bottle of magic what is the thing that i need to turn the corner and we're like hey the best additive on earth is water Right. And so that that's really played true, especially in water culture. And that isn't to suggest that you can't be under target. But generally, by adding water, you've diluted the solution. So you've brought the EC down, you've increased the availability of water for the plant. And more often than not, that water is more alkaline than it is acidic. And it then inherently is raising the pH and it's doing it in this way that is not chemically driven. So therefore, it is not destabilizing. Um, so. If you are seeing pH drop, it isn't a red flag like, oh my gosh, this isn't going to turn around, but it is something you should put in question. And like I said, simplicity, dilute that down. And we'll generally say rule of 10%. Dilute your solution by 10%, observe and see what happens. Try to avoid adjusting the pH. And then also take a step back, take a breath and go like, what is it that's causing this? And it may be something as simple as a very, very meaningful and helpful input. Like, oh, I, you know, I grabbed this. My friend uses it in his drip system, said it's great. I inputted it or added it into my solution and it caused that problem. So how do you fix that? Just remove it, you know, just avoid that in the future. So always take a step back, look at what you're doing. Did you change anything recently? Put that, you know, under a level of suspicion reach out to a company like us, you know, like, hey, I just look for opinion. I do or I don't use your product. Um, can you help me with this? And and we're always happy to offer a little bit of pro bono insight. This clip is brought to you by Vivo Sun. Use discount code MrGrow15 to save on any of their gardening products. Go to the full episode by clicking the outro card here or click the link in the description section below. Catch you in the next video.